Hi guys, welcome back to another Doodly session. Today we'll be looking at zoom and pan feature. Let's get started. Okay, creating a new video. Okay, so zoom is basically giving the effect of getting closer to an object or moving away from the object, whereas pan is a side to side movement where you start from left side and go to the right side or you start from right side or go to the left side or maybe up down left right whichever the direction you prefer so let's look at the zoom feature first just let me draw something quickly so i have a bed and my idea is i wanted to start very close to the image and then slowly zoom out Let's see how to do that. So on the screen, if you look at the timeline, there is an add panning and zooming button. So click on that and you will see an FX. FX is nothing but <coughs> the zoom feature. So when you click on the FX button, you will see this pan and zoom setting screen where you have the start and the end. The start tells you how the FX should start and end issue is the end tells you how the effect should end so in our case if you notice the start is locked so it does not allow you to make any change i will go ahead and unlock it the effect i'm looking for is i want it to start very close to the image like very zoomed into the image and slowly zoom out so i will go and change my start to be as small as possible and pretty much place anywhere close to the image and at the end I want it to be like the full image okay now if you click on the show preview you can preview how it looks there in this case if you notice it just completed in a very short time it's incomplete that's because my zoom is shorter than the entire image so go and increase the size now let's preview see that so the image starts very close to the face and then slowly zooms out if you want to control the speed of the zoom you drag it make it longer if you want to make it faster make it shorter so let me also increase the duration of the scene so we can clearly see it looks preview and then it slowly zooms out okay what I would like to do now is add a little slightly different uh, effect I want the image to start and end at the same side so one way to make them same sizes bring both the start and end together and then size it it's not user friendly but I think this is the best I could find and move this guy and move this guy and let's say there is slight change so let's preview and that's slowly zooming out that's basically a very simple zoom effect okay now let's see how the panning can be done so I'm going back to the image now I want to start at the left and then I want to end here so all I'm doing is I want the camera to start zooming from the left side and then slowly start drawing so that image looks as if it's moving so that is panning zooming is straight in or out panning is moving from one direction to another direction now let's let me take another quick example so I can show you both at the same time so I'm building a story where a bear is trying to introduce his family members so let's say this is a bear 
and then this one brother or sister and then there is another third bear Okay, see the idea is I want to start very close with the main bear and then I want to pan to each one of those bears and then zoom out completely so all the bears are within the frame. So let's see how we can do this. So my initial scene I want only this bear to be visible. So I go and here is one more tip. The another way of adding a zoom pan is right click. So when you right click the pop up comes and then you can select add zoom and panning. So I want it to be the, at the start. So start unlock so that I can change my start position. So I want to start close and I want to end where the, the bear is completely drawn. So let's check that. nice so this is what I wanted I wanted the zoom just enough until the bear is drawn next I want to pause for few seconds and then start going to one of the zooms family members so what I did I created another FX but here I'm not changing anything because I just wanted to pause the way it where it is So let's preview, draw, wait and then I want to zoom. Now I'm going to add one more. Here I want my character to start here. So I'm, I'm locking the start. I don't want to change the start but the end I want it to go to the bear on the left. So let's see what happens when I preview draws which there and then it goes to the one on the left now I want it to stay there for a fraction of time and then then so this is stay there don't move and this effect would be to move to the next character let's preview so draw stay there move to the left finish move to the right finish and then bottom and then left so let's see how we can do the other so again draw wait at this bear now move okay in this case the next draw diagram is here move there then wait don't do anything and move this one would be from here move to this character let's preview zoom out left top right top left bottom right bottom right. And at the end I want it to zoom out so right bottom I said stay there now all I want is zoom out so everyone is visible let's preview so panning to the left top panning to the right top panning to left bottom pan to right bottom and then zoom out so a quick overview what I did so the first zoom is where I'm saying start and end almost at the same area so that the middle bear is drawn then the next effect is just stay there do nothing so my first and second are identical third I'm saying start is 
logged so wherever my previous end was that is my current start but now I want you to pan from this position to my left corner which is the end position then I'm saying wait in the same position don't make any change because I want to give a pause for a few seconds then I go to the next effect where I am asking it to move to the right same thing do nothing or have the previous effect then change to the left bottom so if you notice any effects that has a green it indicates that you actually made a change any effects that does not have that green indicates it's not change it's as is from the previous state so this should give you an indication of what's happening and if you want to increase or decrease the speed just change the I mean just drag and increase or decrease so the shorter is faster the longer is slower now if you want to increase or decrease the effects of the previous one you will have to move the one on the rightmost end then you will be able to make those changes like that and if you notice if you accidentally move over to the wrong place or if you start overlapping the icon turns red indicating you cannot do that so just move back there and then increase so one quick tip I wanted to give you is if you change this scene let's say if I want to increase the drawing speed or decrease the drawing speed of those characters you see these your timeline increases but your zoom effect does not increase so you will have to go back and adjust them accordingly so that's little in, in annoying and inconvenience but that's how it is so you every time you make a change to your timeline make sure you go back to your zoom settings and then adjust them I don't know if there is a option or a settings where I can make my zoom and FX follow the timeline when I increase or decrease if there is then I'll I will let you know but right now I could not find it so if whenever you make a change to the timeline make sure you adjust them accordingly so lastly just preview draw wait go left do something go right draw wait there here and zoom all the way out that's it guys I hope this was helpful uh, if you have any feedback do let me know i will be more than happy to recreate or make more tutorials and other topics see you later thank you